Python is one of the most popular programming languages today. And guess what? It was created as a side hobby and named after a comedy series. How cool is that? Hey guys, I'm Akanksha from IntelliPad and in this video, I'm going to answer some of the most asked questions about Python such as What is Python? Why to choose Python? What are the features of Python that make Python stand out? Applications of Python? Salary trends? And then we'll also have a short quiz based on this video. Now that we know the agenda of this video, let's get started with our first topic that is What is Python? Well, in technical terms, Python is a general purpose, high level, interpreted and dynamically typed programming language created by Guido van Rossum. Now, you must have heard this definition a lot, but what do all these technical jargons mean? Let's understand them one by one starting with general purpose language. A language designed to be used for writing software in various application domains without being restricted to a particular domain. Basically, what it means is that Python is used in a variety of fields unlike domain-specific languages. High-level language A programming language that uses natural language elements, which makes it a lot easier to read and understand the codes. A high-level language also automates significant area of computing while coding, like memory allocation and management. Interpreted language Python is an interpreted language, which means that your Python script is saved and executed in the same format in which you created the script, as opposed to the compiled languages, where the code is first translated to a set of machine-specific instructions and then saved as an executable file. Dynamically typed language Being dynamically typed means that the Python parser automatically infers or identifies the type of variable on the basis of what kind of data you have assigned to the variable. Which means that you don't need to worry about declaring a number correctly that will store the sum result of an integer and a decimal. How convenient is that? Now that we fully understand what is Python, let's move on to the next topic and understand what are the various reasons for choosing Python over other languages. Well, the very first factor that attracts the majority of the coders to a programming language is the ease of learning. And Python, by its very nature, is designed to be easy to read and write. The syntax of Python can be easily understood even by the beginners. Not just easy to read and write, Python is also free and open source. Now being open source means that the source code for this language is available for the public to download, use, modify and distribute. This may be the primary reason that Python has been evolving over the years and even though it's over 20 years old, it's still one of the top languages of 21st century. Python also usually involves less code lines, which in turn results in less time to write the code. So something as simple as a hello world program takes at least 2-3 to three lines of code in other languages, while in Python it just takes one line. Now I don't know about you, but I feel that's quite amazing. Python is also approved by data scientists. Python is so versatile in nature, no wonder it is increasingly becoming the top preferred language for data science. So if you're looking for a career in data science, that's all the more reason for you to choose Python. Python also has a huge community, which means that in case you get stuck, there's always going to be someone out there you can reach out for help. And the best part about choosing Python is that it opens up a plethora of career opportunities for you since it has so many applications in so many domains. We'll talk about the applications in detail, but first, let's go over some of the main and important features of Python. Python follows object-oriented programming paradigm, which means that programs in Python can be grouped and bundled into individual objects, making the codes look neat and easy to understand. Now that's just one of the many advantages of being object-oriented. Python is also a cross-platform language, which means that a Python program written on a Windows system will also run on a Linux system, with little or no modifications required. Python has an amazingly large and rich collection of libraries, which are also cross-platform compatible. This provides users with a lot of flexibility while working in Python. Python is known for its simplicity, and it's very easy to use, which is something we cannot really say about majority of the languages out there. Python can also be integrated with other programming languages, such as C, C++, Java, and many more. Now, we have already discussed that the syntax of Python is very easy to understand. Its English-like elegant syntax is what that makes Python stand out the most among other languages. 
Now that we know all the main features of Python, let's move forward and learn about the top trending applications of Python. The first one being web applications. Python is used to create web applications of different levels of complexity. Not just web application development, Python is also used for data analysis. Due to abundance of libraries such as NumPy, Pandas and more, Python is leading and preferred choice for data analysis. Machine learning. Python can also be used for machine learning to implement predictive analysis by using its machine learning libraries such as scikit-learn, TensorFlow and many more. Game development. Python is also very popular in the field of game development as it has an entire module named Pygame for this purpose. Automation Python can also be used to automate repetitive stuff such as sending emails, opening a browser and posting a Facebook status and many more. So far we have discussed almost everything that you need to know about Python before getting started with Python. But then, without the salary talk, discussions like these almost seem incomplete, don't they? So let's get to it. As we already know that Python is top preferred language for data science. The average salary for data scientists is around $127,826 per year. Not just data science, Python is also becoming a default choice for machine learning. The average salary for machine learning developer is around $143,650 per year. Even the median salary of a regular Python developer is around $123,473 per year. So, it goes without saying that you could be in a high demand and one of the highest paid professionals if you are a skilled Python developer. Now, before we bring this session to an end, let's make this session a little more interesting with a short quiz. If you look at the following code block, you'll observe that I have assigned two values to the variable named a. The first value is a string and the second value is an integer. Now, do you think if I run this code block, it'll give me an error? Well, yes or no, whatever your answer may be, don't forget to tell me why in the comment section down below. Also, in the true spirit of peer-to-peer -peer knowledge sharing, let me give you a hint. The answer to this question lies somewhere in the definition of Python. So guys, that would be all for this video. I hope it helped and answered some of your questions, but if you still have any doubts, do leave a comment for us. We'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this session.